Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel, Blue Daisy. So today I'm going to show you how to make a half hexagon. So I previously made a video on how to crochet a hexagon and how to join hexagons together, and a lot of people have requested for a half hexagon video, so I thought I'd make it for you today. So let's get into the video. You will need your choice of yarn. I will be using black and green yarn, scissors, a crochet hook, I will be using a 5mm hook, and a sewing needle. So today we're going to be making this crochet half hexagon. So a normal hexagon would look something like this, but instead we're going to be making half so that you can have a straight edge like this. So if you're making a blanket or anything really, you would have a straight edge instead of um, like hexagons all around it. So to make the half hexagon, we're going to start with a little chain in the center to make a loop and do double crochet around. And we're also going to be working with um, sets of two double crochet. And then the corners are going to be chain twos and then in between are chain ones. And this will make more sense if you watch the how to crochet hexagons video. And it'll give you more background information and it'll also tell you how to make these, which are really cool. So watching that video will help you understand this video. So let's get started. So you're going to take your yarn and make a slip knot. Then insert your crochet hook and pull. Then you make a chain of four. So to chain, you put your hook on the left side of this yarn, turn it to face towards you, and pull through. So that's one chain. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. So now we have a chain of four, and we need to make a loop that all of those double crochet are going to go into. So we're going to do one slip stitch into the first chain of this chain four. So insert, yarn over, come out, so then you're going to have two loops on the hook, and then pull through. So then we have a tiny little hole, and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to do two double crochet into the center. So to double crochet, you yarn over and then insert into the center of that loop, yarn over, come out, so then you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through only the first two loops, come out and you have two loops, yarn over and pull through those last two loops. So that's one double crochet and we have a chain four. Then we're going to do another double crochet, yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And then we're going to chain two, because this would be a normal corner in our hexagon. Then double crochet, and then one more. So now we have two double crochet, a chain two, which is going to be the corner, and then two double crochet. So we're going to make another corner, so we chain two. Then do two more double crochet into the center of this loop. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Then we're going to chain one and do one more double crochet into the center. So this is the first row, and we're going to chain one, pull, and then cut with our scissors. So now we finish the first row of this half hexagon. So we have a chain three, a chain one, which makes a chain four, and then two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. And so we have this chain four because the chain three mirrors this double crochet, and the chain one mirrors the chain one. So now we're going to start onto the second row. So we cut off here because it's a half hexagon and we can't go all the way around because then it would be a full hexagon. So we end it here and then we're going to start up back here. So I'm going to insert into the second chain of this chain four. So right there. Then take my yarn and wrap it around the hook. Then pull through and make a knot so that this yarn is secure to that first round. Then insert, <coughs> yarn over, come out to get the loop back on the hook. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. 
Then you're going to do one double crochet into this hole. So yarn over, insert into the hole, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So this makes one set of two double crochet. Then we're going to chain one because we're going in between sets of double crochet. Then yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, which makes one double crochet. So we're going to do one more. Then a chain two, because this is a corner. This is a corner, so then this next row is going to be a corner. Then two more double crochet into the same hole. Then since we're going in between double crochet, chain one, then this is a corner, so then this one on this row is going to be a corner as well. So again, that's two double crochet. and then a chain two, and then two more double crochet in the same space. Then since we finished the corner, we're gonna chain one, and we're going to do one double crochet into this hole. And then we're gonna do a double crochet right into this top of this double crochet. So we have one in the hole, and we're gonna do one into the top. So yarn over, insert into anywhere in that top portion, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So that is the second row. We're gonna yarn over, pull through, which is just a chain, and then cut with our scissors. There we go, so that's the second round. So we have a chain three, one double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet, one chain, two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet, one chain, and two double crochet. So now we're going to start the third row. So we're going to insert into the second chain of this chain three, wrap it around our hook pull through and make a knot, again to secure it to the rest of the crochet. Then you're going to insert into that same space, then yarn over to get the loop back on your hook, and then chain three, and do one double crochet into the same space. So we have the space where we did the chain two, we inserted it and we made a knot, and into that same space, we're going to do another double crochet. Then since we're going in between sets of double crochet, we chain one, then two double crochet into this hole. Then one chain, because we're going in between sets. And then this is a corner, so we're doing two double crochet, then a chain two, and two more double crochet into the same space. Then chain one and do two double crochet into this hole. Then chain one and so this is a corner so again we're doing two double crochet then two chains and then two more double crochet into the same space. Then chain one two double crochet into this hole, then chain one, and then we're going to do two double crochet into the top portion of this last double crochet. So just yarn over, insert into anywhere in that top part, it doesn't really matter which part you do as long as it's in the top. So that's one double crochet, and then two double crochet. And then that's it. So chain one, pull, and cut with your scissors. So again, to recap, this is the half hexagon, and for the third row, we did chain three, then one double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, one chain, two double crochet, one chain, two double crochet, two chains, 
two, two double crochet, one chain, two double crochet, chain, two, du two double crochet. So this is the finished half hexagon. You can keep going for as many rows as you'd like, but since I did three rows for these hexagons, I'm going to do three rows for these half hexagons. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel down below. And also, if you have any questions or comments or you need help on a project, please let me know in the comment section. And also, if you know the answer to somebody's question or they need help, please feel free to help them out because everyone needs some help sometimes. Yeah, thank you so much and bye.